Okay, welcome back. This is now um, question number four from the Solomon J paper. Um, it's a question about inequalities and part B is actually the question I was asked about, which is about indices. Um, and this is a question also for my end of topic worksheet about equations and inequalities. And I'm going to go through both parts just for completeness sake. So this is um, an inequality we have to solve this inequality what we need to do is expand the brackets here so you're going to have 4x minus 8 is less than 2x plus 5 we have to separate the x terms from the non-x terms so I'll subtract 2x from both sides so this side I'll have 4x minus 2x and I'll add 8 to both sides and this, this side I'll have 5 plus 8 so I'll end up with 2x is less than 13 so x is less than 13 over 2 that's fine as my answer i could if i want write it as less than six and a half and there we have the answer to part a very simple um, question part b was what i was asked about and part b is also quite a simple question it actually belongs in the um in chapter one which is about indices and um <clears throat> surds and, and such so um, but we're going to, I'll, I'll solve it here. So this question is in P1, when we have these exponential equations, where you have the power with the variable in it that you have to find. It's called an exponential equation. In P1, we can solve these very easily because we're always given the type of equations or the type of base numbers which can be expressed with the same base. Okay, you're never given ones which cannot be expressed with the same base in P1. In P2, that's a different matter. We've, we're going to use a different method called logarithms when we have uh, you know bases that cannot be expressed as the same um, we, we resort to something called logarithms which we're going to deal with in P, P2 but in, in P1 you'll always find that you'll have the bases that can be expressed as the same um, number and the, the uh, objective when you're solving an exponential equation is to make the bases the same number and if the base is the same number and it's an equation means one side is equal to the other. Once you make the bases the same, then the powers must also be the same, so you can equate them and solve the equation. So it's pretty easy once you think about it that 4 and 8 can both be expressed as 2 to the power of something. So we know that 2 squared is 4, and 2 cubed is 8. So we can express both of them as 2 to the power of something. So 4 is 2 squared. So you have 2 squared to the power of y plus 1 equals and 8 is 2 cubed so you have 2 cubed to the power of 2y minus 1 and if you remember from the uh, laws of indices when you have something raised to a power uh, raised to another power it's like you multiply those powers together so I have to multiply 2 and y plus 1 so I have 2 to the power of this is 2 times y plus 1 equals 2 to the power of and this is 3 times 2y minus 1 so now I have achieved my objective. The bases are the same. So once I know the bases are the same, I can now equate the powers. So I know that 2 times y plus 1 must be the same as 3 times 2y minus 1. Now I can solve this equation and find the value of y which satisfies this equation. And that will be the value of y which satisfies our original equation. So we can say this is 2y plus 2 equals 6y minus 3. So we're going to um, bring the y's on one side and the numbers on the other. So we're going to let's let's bring the y's on this side because there's more y's here. So six y minus two y on this side. You'll have two. Add three to both five sides. Th two plus three, which is five. So five is equal to four y. Therefore, y is equal to five over four, and that is the solution to this exponential equation. Y equals five over four, and that is that basically okay so that's a pretty simple question but the the objective is to make the bases the same number once you make the bases the same then the powers must be the same and you can find the value of y which satisfies the equation so that's the answer for this question number 10 from solomon j um not such a difficult question um but some people do get confused over how to solve such questions as this. Exponential equations make the bases the same. Make the bases the same, express them as the same number, 
and then equate the powers and that's basically it okay so thank you for watching if you want to see other questions from this particular solomon j paper you can click over here if you want to see other questions to do with inequalities and equations you can click over here if you want to subscribe to my channel click in the on the icon here thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon